Today, I'm presenting you with an exercise that absolutely changed my life. It increased my ability to manifest by 10x, and it can do the same thing for you guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are getting into the power of awareness. This is Attention Chapter 6 from the Power of Awareness, and I'm very excited and grateful to be presenting you with this, guys, today. Let's go ahead and jump into it, and I'll, as always, I'm going to give you my narrative right along with this to help you better understand it. But when you, if you actually apply this exercise, you will be able to manifest 10 times what you're manifesting now because it's going to increase your ability to focus and increase the muscle of your mind, Okay, so which is essential as we know. If you know Neville Goddard and you're trying to visualize and you're actually you know, trying to manifest things into your life, you know how important it is to be able to focus your mind on your visualizations as you drift off to sleep and impress that subconscious mind. Enter those cheat codes into the subconscious mind, which is impersonal and which creates anything that you want. You can create anything you want. Just capture the feeling and fall asleep with it. But it all depends on your ability to focus. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James 1, 8. Okay, so attention is forceful in proportion to the narrowness of its focus. Okay, so what James is talking about here is the your ability to focus on one thing and not being a double-minded man, basically, in your mind drifting everywhere but your wish fulfilled, your sustained feeling of the thing that you want that you're trying to impress the subconscious mind with. Okay, so attention is forceful in proportion to the narrowness of its focus. That is, when it is obsessed with a single idea or sensation. Okay, it is steadied and powerfully focused only by such an adjustment of the mind as permits you to see one thing only. One thing only, and that is your wish fulfilled, guys. So you're trying to, we're trying to impress the subconscious mind here with the feeling. You're falling asleep with it, just like the ladder exercise. You're climbing that ladder. You are falling asleep with the feeling of climbing a ladder, okay? The feeling of climbing a ladder, it's gonna happen. So you can use this to create $3 million, a $1 million, $100,000, a new relationship, anything that you want. So it all comes down to the development of the muscle of the mind, okay? The muscle of the mind, you can create anything by hacking the system, by entering a cheat code into the subconscious mind, by tricking it as if you already have something. So it, the subconscious mind is impersonal, so it only knows what you tell it through your feelings, so you can come up with any feeling that you want. Anything that you absolutely want in your life, you can just find the feeling. Visualize it in your mind. It's easy. It's simple. Once you can develop the muscle of your mind, and that's what we're going to go over, guys. So stay with me here. All right. It is steady and powerfully focused only by such an adjustment of the mind as permits you to see one thing only. For you steady the attention and increase its power by confining it. The desire which realizes itself is always a desire upon which attention is exclusively contracted or concentrated. For an idea is endowed with power only in proportion to the degree of attention fixed on it. Concentrated observation is the attentive attitude directed from one specific end. One specific end. The attentive attitude involves selection. For when you pay attention... It signifies that you have decided to focus your attention on one object or state rather than another. Therefore, when you know what you want, you must deliberately focus your attention on the feeling of your wish fulfilled until that feeling fills the mind and crowds all other ideas out of consciousness. So when you're going into your imaginal act, observe your thoughts as you're trying to sustain the feeling and visualize and notice the the other ideas and thoughts that are coming in your mind you have to get rid of those by implanting and focusing on that new that new desired state or that new thing that you want whatever you want to be do or have create that feeling and then wipe any other sensations out okay get rid of them and also comes down to the development of that mind that muscle of the mind okay so the power of attention is the measure of your inner force the power of attention is the measure of your inner force, okay? So concentrated observation of one thing shuts out all other things, okay? And causes them to disappear. So once you have that developed, controlled mind where you're actually laser focused on your new conception of self or the thing you're trying to manifest, everything else will disappear. Everything else will disappear and everything else will be shut out of your mind, okay? So the great secret of success is to focus the attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled without permitting any distraction. Here it is, guys. This is what I've been emphasizing for such a long time. We're, we're getting into this. It's perfect. 
The great secret of success is to focus the attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled without permitting any distraction. And that comes to the developed muscle of the mind. All progress depends upon an increase of attention. The ideas which impel you to action are those which dominate the consciousness, those which possess the attention. The idea which excludes all others from the field of attention discharges in action. This one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind, I press towards the mark, okay? Philippians, this is told in the Bible, explaining this to us a long time ago. All right, so this is Philippians 3, 13 and 14. This means you, this one thing you can do, forgetting those things which are behind. All the other things in your life where your mind's trying to go. What happened yesterday? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's happening in your life right now? Bills you got to pay. Things like anything in your life, get those out of your mind because they're not contributing to the new th visualization, the new manifestation that you're trying to create into your life. Those have nothing to do with it. So don't let them crowd your mind. Get those out. Get them out. Okay. Forgetting those things that are behind. You can press towards the mark of filling your mind with the feeling of the wish fulfilled. To the unenlightened man, this will seem to be all fantasy. And we, as we've gone through before, just like in Tony and my grandfather's story, an unenlightened man, it would all seem fantasy, like it just ha happens coincidentally. Yet all progress comes from those who do not take the accepted view. All progress comes from those who do not take the accepted view, nor accept the world as it is. As was stated heretofore, if you can imagine what you please, and if the forms of of your thought are as vivid as the forms of nature you are by virtue of the power of your imagination master of your fate that's what i've been explaining guys if the forms of your thoughts and your imaginations when you go to sleep at night if you can create a scene as vivid as the forms of nature as vivid as the world that you're living in now you are the master of your fate you can create anything that you want anything you want in your life you can manifest it your imagination is you yourself and the world as your imagination sees it, sees it is the real world, okay? So if you imagine something in your mind and it's just as real as this world, it's going to happen because your belief systems, okay? So, for example, if something were to happen to you right now in your 3D world, that's going to dovetail into your following days, okay? That's going to move you and you're going to believe what's going to happen from that because it was real to you. So if you can create your imaginal acts to be as real as your 3D world right now is, then it has no choice. It doesn't matter if you believe it. It's going to happen. It doesn't even matter if you believe it. Just like if something happened to you right now in your world and you didn't believe that it happened, it's still going to happen. Okay, so if you if you get hit by a car right now in your 3D world, you're going you're gonna to be in pain tomorrow from that because it happened and it was real to you. So you can use that as for good things happening in your life. So something good can happen in your life, in your imagination, as real as your 3D world, and it's going to happen. It's going to dovetail into the following days, and you can use revision for this as well. Okay, so your imagination is you yourself and the world as your imagination sees it is the real world. Okay, so when you set out to master the movements of attention, which must be done if you would successfully alter the course of observed events, it is then you realize how little control you exercise over your imagination. So most people that get into Neville Goddard, they get into visualization, they get into manifestation and trying to visualize something and sustain a feeling, they find out how little control they have over their imagination and how they're under the hypnosis uh, or the enchantments of, of powerful imaginations. So they're, they're, all these thoughts in their minds, everything they're working on throughout their days is is not even originated, didn't even originate from them. It originated from somebody with a powerful imagination that has control over their imagination. So they're under a hypnosis, so to speak, and an enchantment by a powerful imagination. So, But once you take control of your imagination and your mind, now you are one of the, you are one of the powerful manifestors, the creations, the powerful imaginations. Now you are, your imaginal acts are now causing it's, it's you're shooting off your ideas your ideas are being planted in other people's minds and they think those thoughts originate from them but they originated from you now once you know how to do this once you know how to control your mind and visualize and create things now you're shooting off now you're en enchanting your enchantment is now covering other people 
you are now implanting thoughts into other people to get um, your desired result for you. And they're going to think those thoughts originated from them, but they originated from you. So now we're, we're flipping the script now, okay? By developing that muscle of the mind and how important that is. Okay, so... All right, let's go over this one more time, which must be done. If you would successfully alter the course of observed events, it is then you realize how little control and exercise over your imagination and how much it is dominated by sensory impressions and by a drifting of the tides of idle moods. Here it is. Here's the exercise, guys. To aid in mastering the control of your attention, practice this exercise. Here it is. I love this one. Changed my life completely. I was actually, when I when I started using this technique or this exercise, I started uh, like the first, the very first night that I actually did this in detail, replaying the day's events in reverse order. I actually like started waking up inside of my own dream, and I could, I could, I was started turning on lights from a distance, and I could fly, and I was like creating things inside of my dream when I was going to sleep. Like I was waking, starting to wake up inside of my dream, and that started the first night. And then during the day, I noticed that my awareness was just much more crisp. And I was starting to notice it because I was having because when you go to sleep at night, you're going to have to remember everything. So it enhances your awareness and your level of in the in the present moment. So actually, you live a much more happy life, and you start to notice uh, things that you never noticed before that are in your life because you're having going to have to remember these things when you go to sleep at night. So you're looking around, you're like, okay, I'm going to remember this, I'm going to remember that, I'm going to okay, I'm looking at this. You're looking at the details, so you're in the present moment, and your awareness is expanding. So time is slowing down. So there's so many different variables about how this increases your your level of success. There's so many different variables in this in this this exercise that Neville Goddard gave us. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Night after night, just before you drift off to sleep, strive to hold your attention on the activities of the day in reverse order. Okay, so first, okay, focus your attention on the last thing you did. That is getting into bed. Okay, so, and then move backwards in time. Okay, so what you want to do is when you go to bed, you want to do this before you go to sleep at night or before your visual acts or whatever you want to do. But if you want to develop your muscle of your mind, you want to, you're, you're going to go say, say, I went to sleep last night and, I, and then the, the last thing I did before I went to sleep was brush my teeth and take a shower. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the beginning of the shower and then I'm going to replay the shower, brushing my teeth, everything I did with that. Once I get done with that scene, then I go to the scene before that. Say I was eating dinner or I was exercising at the gym or I was doing um, and then I want to you want to remember exactly what you were eating. You want to who you were sitting with. Um, what exactly where was your food on your plate? What conversations did you have? Try to get as detailed as possible with this. And then after you're done with that scene, move to the, the one before that and then play it forward and then go to the one before that. And then play it forward just like that. So that's what he's explaining here. OK, so night after night, just before you drift off to sleep, strive to hold your attention on the activities of the day in reverse order. Focus your attention on the last thing you did, that is getting into bed, okay, and then move it backwards in time over the events until you reach the first event of the day, getting out of bed, okay, so this is no easy exercise, but just as specific exercises greatly help in developing specific muscles, this will greatly help in developing the muscle of your attention, all right, so the first time I did this, I... I mean, I couldn't get really detailed, okay? I couldn't get re really detailed, and it was frustrating for me to know how much um, control that I didn't have over my mind and my imagination and how much control I didn't have over my experiences during the day because my awareness of remembering everything that happened wasn't vivid at all. It was, I couldn't remember that much of it. So it only took me like five or 10 minutes the first time I did it. So the next day, I started being more aware and focused on things that were happening to me throughout the day. So when I went into the following night, I was able to do it for even 15 minutes, you know, and getting more and more detailed with it and expanding my mind and my awareness and developing that muscle of the mind. And every time my mind drifted, I would bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, so you can start off doing this for even five to 10 minutes. Just just do it. Just just try it for a few nights. And the first night I did this, I was actually, my dreams actually changed completely. I was actually waking up inside of my dream. And then it was a bunch of other things that unfolded from there where my awareness in this world, I started noticing, I started waking up in, in consciousness as well. Like things started jumping out at me, some things that I didn't notice before, like the artificialness of this world. You start noticing the cracks that are hidden from you. And it's a, it's a very, very interesting technique, and it will change your life completely inside and out. Okay, so your attention must be developed, controlled, and concentrated in order to change your concept of yourself successfully and thereby change your future. 
Imagination is able to do anything, but only according to the internal direction of your attention. Okay, so if you persist night after night, sooner or later, you will awaken in yourself a center of power. And that's what I'm talking about. That's everything I was explaining. Um, he doesn't get into a ton of detail, so I tried to explain what's about to happen to you when you do this exercise. Your entire world is going to shift. Completely shift. Okay, so, and become conscious of your greater self, the real you. That's basically what happened to me. It made me um, basically become more conscious and more conscious of my greater self, the real me. Okay, attention is developed by repeated exercise or habit. Through habit and action becomes easier. It's because you're building momentum. Okay, so this is what he's saying here. Through habit, then you're building momentum and everything becomes easier at that point. Exercising, visualizing, manifesting, making money, um, relationships, careers, jobs, anything in your life. You build the momentum of habit and then it becomes easier. And so in course of time gives rise to a facility or a faculty which can then be put to higher uses. When you attain control of the internal direction of your attention, you will no longer stand in shallow water, but will launch out into the deep of life. You will walk in the assumption of the wish fulfilled as on a foundation more solid than even earth. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a, a long video here, but I, I really wanted to get into these. And, um, and give me one thing you guys are grateful for. And I also want to let you know that I'm going to put the link below to the Neville book. If you if you are not signed up in the Neville book, it is free to join. We It is the Neville Goddard community in the Mighty Networks. And I'm going to put that link in the description. Go check it out. We're all, we have different groups in there. There's courses in there. There's, you know, um, we haven't done any live chats yet, but that are live events, but we are going to pretty soon. I'm getting all that developed now, but um, it's fairly new. And if you don't know about it, go ahead and click the, in the, the link in the description right below. I'm going to put it in the first column there. So go ahead and sign up. It's free to sign up, free to join, guys. Come and check it out. But here it is. This is Neville Goddard, The Power of Awareness, Attention, Chapter 6. And I will see you guys tomorrow.